everyone, this is Gabriela Garcia and with my partners Lizette Medina, Angela Duarte, Daniel Infante and Camila Ardila we are going to talk about one of the stages of first language acquisition that is holophrastic. Also, we are going to talk about of this definition and we are going to show you some examples. So, let's start. We can find holophrastic in children from 9 to 18 months. Having said that, by this point in time, children can produce a small number of isolated single words and many sounds. Also, in this stage, this is no more language specific rather than babbling. And children in this stage can produce or can understand the phonology and can distinguish the sounds between their words they hear. Hello, my name is Angela Duarte and he is Julian Mauricio. Tortuga. Ah. Perro. Ah. <laughs> Pato. Ah. Flor. Ah. El panda. Pa. Caro. Pollo. Pa. Pájaro. Pa. Gato. Miau. Uh, Oso. Uh, ma. Este el pájaro. El pájaro. Robo. Uh, pa. Negro. Uh, sí. Here, the last part of this video, I am Camila and I will mention three conclusions about the importance of holophrastic stage. Let's move forward. Number one, the use of concrete and visual material related to the contents allow the little ones to better develop their speech. Number two, listen up. Thanks to this stage, children can name objects, express actions, or that is hard to carry out actions and transmit emotional states quite effectively. Number three, it is important to highlight that most of the early other phrases of children are idiosyncratic, which is why their uses can change and evolve over time in somewhat unstable way. Thanks for watching, until the next time!